What is going on everybody? So today I've got a video for you that is going to be geared towards those of you that watch my videos that are actually the parents or family members of soldiers at basic training. So we're going to cover what you should send them whenever they're at training. So I got a question on my email the other day asking me about like proper gun cleaning equipment and stuff to send their soldier that uh, they have requested, right? And so that person had reached out to me and kind of asked me for uh, some advice on what to actually send the, the soldier. So I sent them some links and whatnot. And so it got me thinking about doing this video, honestly. I know a lot of you out there, you're not soldiers, you know, future soldiers. You're not gonna be leaving for basic training anytime soon. You're a family member just watching some of my videos because you wanna kinda of get a feel for what your soldier is going through. So as a parent or family member at home, there's really not much you can do to really help out your soldier, except for maybe some things that you can send them. So I'm gonna go over a big list in this video. I'm gonna kinda of display it, and I'm gonna cover some key points that I think you should actually uh, hit on. But before I do that, before I do that, I do want to mention two things to you out there that are gonna be uh, potentially sending something to your soldier. I'm not gonna cover in detail like all the things that you can't send. That's gonna be in the link down, just down in the description down below. Uh, but two things I wanna mention is number one, don't send them food. So any kind of food whatsoever, anything edible, that's gonna be out of the question. And then number two, ask your soldier first. So the first letter that you send them, the second letter that you send them very, very early on, just go ahead and ask them straight up, what do you want us to send you? And then they will let you know because there's odds are, you know, you might have, they might have packed everything, you know, the best that they could, but they may have missed something. They may have forgot something. Maybe they, you know, went to the PX and they bought some Q-tips, but now they're out of Q-tips and they might need some more Q-tips, which is actually a really important thing when you're cleaning your weapon. Uh, it's really easy uh, to use anyways, but you know, there's gonna be things like that. So make sure you ask them very early on what they want. So then you can kind of pull from this list or look in the description uh, at the link and kind of see if what you want to send them is okay. Actually, there is a third really important thing that I do want to mention potentially your drill sergeants could deny really whatever. So there's like a list of things that you could technically send them or things that are denied, but ultimately it's up to your drill sergeants because the way it's gonna work is you're just gonna mail it to them. It's not gonna go just directly to your soldier. It's gonna go to your soldier's platoon and the drill sergeants are gonna hand things out. And so if you actually send a package to them or even a thick envelope, then the drill sergeants are gonna have them open it up and actually look at what is inside of it. So if you send them just a normal letter and they'll be thin and it's obviously just a letter, they're just gonna give that to the soldier. But if the envelope is thick or if they're, you're sending them a package, the drill sergeants will open it or they'll have the soldier open it right in front of them. And if anything in it, they say is a no-go, you can't have it. It may even be something that's questionable. Whereas like a different platoon or a different company may allow their soldiers to get it. Ultimately, it's up to the drill sergeant. So I'm gonna read the list really quickly on the link in the description down below of what you can bring. And then like I said, I'm gonna hit on some of the key things that you should really kind of focus on or potentially send very early on. So paper, journal, pens, pencil, stamps, envelopes, self-addressed uh, envelopes, uh, toothbrush, address book, toothpaste, dental floss, shoe inserts, blister pads, gold bond, foot powder, toenail clippers, unscented deodorant, baby powder, unscented shampoo, unscented lotion, unflavored chapstick, baby wipes, flushable wipes, sugar-free cough drops. I just want to say on sugar-free cough drops that that's probably going to be a no-go, but you know, you could send it if you want to, but odds are if it's a no-go, they're just going to, it's going to get thrown away. Essentially, you can just assume it's going to get thrown away. Uh, razor, shaving cream, Q-tips, folders, travel side, travel size Kleenexes, bar of soap and moleskin. So that is the approved list that you're gonna find on the Future Soldier family page that I linked in the description. That's not technically everything. If it's not on that list, that doesn't mean that it's not gonna be okay. But you can look at that and kind of see that it's really not that much stuff. It's just kind of some self-care things that they're gonna need. But again, like I said at the beginning of this video, ask your soldier what they need. But now I'm gonna hit on some of the things that I think that they are going to want or need kind of regardless of the situation, okay? So some of the stuff they're gonna kind of run through and it'll be beneficial for you to send it to them if you have the you know, 10, 15 bucks, 20 bucks to spare. Uh, also, I wanna note, don't send big items. So I think if an item is over $50, 
or if you send over $50 in cash, that's gonna be a no-go. So refrain from sending anything expensive. As far as the email that I got, it was asking about gun cleaning equipment. I'm gonna link in the description the specific items that I recommend as far as gun cleaning equipment, so a gun cleaning kit. I wouldn't go all out on this stuff. What I recommend is just essentially sending them what they're going to use in the military. We kind of use the same thing all the time, but the big difference here is the gun cleaning equipment is used all the time. It's dirty in and of itself. You know, if you have a very clean weapon and some of the uh, pieces of cleaning equipment that you could use could actually dirty your weapon. It's kind of weird, but it's just because they're used so often. So sending them a clean, gun cleaning kit would be really, really awesome, really, really beneficial for them. So as a part of the gun cleaning, the Q-tips are gonna be very, very important. Q-tips, some high quality Q-tips aren't gonna screw up or going to bend really easily. You're gonna need some actual kind of good quality Q-tips. That'll be the most beneficial thing for them. You know, send them a big pack of that. Don't just send them a little bit because they are going to run through it. I mean, they are going to absolutely run through it. They're also probably going to be sharing it with some of their battle buddies because they're going to need some Q-tips. But Q-tips are really essential. They're really key. Unscented baby wipes, you can actually use baby wipes as well to actually clean your weapons. So that's going to be good for them, you know, whenever they go out in the field and for cleaning their weapons. So gun cleaning kit, link in the description. Baby wipes and Q-tips are really key. And also, I do want to note, because I don't want you to waste your money, uh, the gun cleaning kit, I would probably wait to ask them if that's okay for you to send because maybe they can ask their drill sergeant if you know a family member can send them a gun cleaning kit because that is probably an item that could be kind of up to the drill sergeant. So I would go ahead and ask ahead of time. Uh, but go ahead and moving on with some other items that are going to be okay. Mole skin, that is really important. That is going to help protect their feet from getting blisters and bleeding because of all the ruck marching and stuff that they're doing. So if they don't have mole skin, you can go ahead and send it to them if you want because odds are, again, they're gonna have some battle buddies that are gonna need it. Like, and that's gonna be a really, really important thing for them not to just tear up their feet. Some gold bond powder, that isn't just needed for the foot powder to help with your blisters and stuff, but you know, you can use it to help yourself down there with chafing because of the ruck marching and stuff that you're gonna be doing. Odds are they're probably gonna be chafing, so the gold bond is going to help with that situation. Any kind of mail materials that they might need, whether that's envelopes, writing paper, journals, black pens, right? Anything like that, uh, some stamps, that is something that you know if they don't have it or if you know that they don't have it you can kind of go ahead and send it to them um, but again you can always ask ahead of time because they may have bought you know envelopes and pins and stuff at the px whenever they got to go but just keep in mind they don't get to go to the px all the time so if they didn't buy that many envelopes if they didn't buy that many um uh, pieces of paper or a journal or something and that got all messed up then they're not going to get a chance to go back to the px for at least a couple of weeks. I think whenever I was there, we went to the PX like three times maybe. I can't remember exactly, but it wasn't that many times. So three times in 10 weeks is not that much. Uh, other people may go a little bit more. It kind of just depends. Along with that writing material, something that I think is very important for them to have, they may not know that they need it or want it or whatever because they're a little bit more expensive than just like a normal notepad, but that is right in the rain notepad. So if they're out in the field and they're doing something or doing land navigation, it'll help with sweat or just rain. So if it's raining, having a notepad, then it's not going to get completely ruined because of the rain or because they're wearing their pad on their shoulder or their notepad in their shoulder um, pocket or in their pants or something and then all the sweat would ruin it. Uh, write and rain notebooks are very, very, very important. Again, the link down in the description down below. The next thing is something that I personally requested for my family members to send me because I didn't have a watch. So I asked them to send me a digital watch. I told them just go to, go to Walmart, get a $10 watch. So that's what I recommend to y'all. Go to Walmart, get a $10 watch and they were gonna be A-OK. -okay. So if they don't have a watch, a digital watch, not a smart watch, not a smart watch. They don't have a digital watch, make sure that they get one because being on time is super duper important. And then the last two things that I think are gonna be really important, and that is chapstick and Kleenex. So chapstick, they may be out in the sun or something, which you know they should have provided sunscreen, which is why I haven't recommended getting sunscreen. That should last them, uh, but if they run out or something, or if they're really fair skinned, then sunscreen will obviously be okay. But chapstick is definitely gonna be helping with them because again, these are supplies that they may have 
but they may not be able to get more of until they go to the PX. And then also Kleenexes are gonna be really important because when you go to basic training, odds are you're gonna get sick or at the very least you're gonna have like a runny nose at some point in time and using like freaking toilet paper or paper towels or something is just gonna screw up your nose. So just those little travel size Kleenex packages are perfect. They can just put that in their pocket or something and then they're good to go and they don't have to worry about just having snot running down because again, you know, you're, they're probably gonna get sick. So that's pretty much guaranteed. And also I wanna note the reason for that is just because you have people from all over the world coming together and being in one little confined compact space. Uh, so that's kind of the reason for that. So you're just gonna have a whole bunch of different people, a bunch of different germs and things kind of mingling around. Maybe a little bit less so now during the whole COVID situation going on. Uh, but odds are, like I said, at the very least, they might get like a runny nose or something. So the Kleenexes are gonna be on point. A couple little things that I wanna address at the end of this video, and if this is for those of you out there that are gonna be wanting to send your soldier just absolutely everything, you're gonna to wanna to send them something like every day, every week or whatever, make sure you're not overdoing it. Kind of get your stuff together and then send it as one big care package if that's what you plan on doing again. Make sure it's all kind of valid stuff. Don't be going off the wall crazy, buying expensive things or, and all that. Um, and also, don't be like ordering off of Amazon directly to the soldier. Just get it off of Amazon. If you have Amazon Prime, it'll be free shipped to your house anyways. And then send that to them, like if you're gonna get multiple items because you don't want to annoy the drill sergeants because if you annoy the drill sergeants by sending them stuff all the time, sending them packages all the time because you're just addressing everything directly to them when you buy each individual item off of Amazon, that's gonna annoy the drill sergeants and then your soldier is likely gonna get into a little bit of trouble. Um, so that's just a little forewarning for you. And I want to reiterate, go ahead, first letter, ask your soldier if they want anything, if they need anything, if they're missing anything, and then you can just go ahead and send that out to them. It'll take a little bit longer because of the whole process, a little extra process that has to go through of shipping to get to a basic training soldier, but that'll ensure that it gets to them as soon as possible. But that is gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. That'd be awesome. If you wanna check out some more of my videos, hit the subscribe button. That would be even better. Follow me on Instagram and Snapchat if you haven't already. Hope you guys have an amazing freaking day. And I'll see y'all later.